63. I'm a retired school teacher. I am a grandmother of seven. I'm a volunteer. I try to stay busy. I defy my age every day. I, I get up, I try to exercise, I am with my family as much as I can be. I'm active both mind and body. Well, I am 63 and that's looming on the horizon. Uh, my husband is older, eight years older, so we have already dealt with Medicare and supplemental policies and all of the varied things that go along with that. Uh, it's, it's, it, it's been um, a little bit challenging, but everything, luckily he had excellent insurance before, so we were just able to kind of move into it. I think healthcare, I think the number one thing that healthcare companies could do to better communicate is to put it in more layman's terms. I think a lot of times they use too many technical terms and it steers people away. And I think the companies that do try to explain it better are the ones that get the policies written. I really think marketing is, in this, right now, starting to gear itself a little bit more toward my age group. Um, I do think in the past it has been that way, but in the past, 50 was time to end. Now we know that that's the new 30. So, see, I'm just 40. And in that respect, so I do think it's, it's gearing a little bit more toward my age. I do think it has a ways to go. Uh, I don't think they realize that there's still a lot of active people, a lot of people traveling, a lot of people taking their families places. And as a travel agent, I've seen a little bit more of that in the new niche, uh, which is family travel. And it's the grandparents with the family travel. It's not just mom and dad taking the kids. <music> I think we're just bombarded with so many things that perhaps just don't appeal to me. I'm just tired of um, 20 banks asking me for my business uh, over and over and over, and it's just it's just not something that I'm going to sit there and open this. And I do, I, you know, we all open our mail, but that's not to say that I keep it. I do think the big focus is on the younger people. That is an absolute truth. And I do hope that the pendulum swings some because let's face it, we are the ones that have worked all these years to save this money, to spend this money. Um, I, I think, you know, when I look at advertising sometimes, magazines, whatever, I'm seeing the little 21 year old that's, you know, a size zero and they're advertising only for them. And I'm thinking, hey, let's move it on. I have the time, thankfully now, to not have to make impulse purchases. Not that I don't do it occasionally, but as far as on a regular basis, I take my time, I kind of check things out, and that's a luxury that that I have now that I did not years ago. I have in the past felt felt ignored. I, I, I feel like marketers still tend to gear toward younger people. I have not had any particular customer service issue problems with anybody uh, that has not been satisfied to my for me, it, that has not been a problem. Um, 
I'm just hoping that it continues to, pendulum continues to swing a little bit and the marketers realize that we're here. I think I would like for them to speak to me as if, yes, Beverly, we can help you at 63. Uh, our product can help you at 63. I mean, perhaps it can also help me in my 80s, but now is what I'm concerned about. Um, if a marketer wants to succeed with me, then they need to focus on me, what I am looking for today. My name is Beverly Hanley, I am 63, and my 63 is moving forward just as quickly as I can.